Hi, I made a Gleeman's Cloak, or at least my interpretation of a patchwork cloak. If you already know what that is and you just want to go to the time lapse of the sewing, you can go to this timestamp right here. Otherwise, let me give you a little bit of background. In the Wheel of Time series by Robert Jordan, we are introduced to Tom Marilyn as one of our first characters. He's a Gleeman, a traveling entertainer who sports a brilliantly colored cloak. Gleeman are traveling entertainers and they have a whole bunch of skills to go along with that. Everything from singing and dancing to acrobatics and juggling. They're traveling entertainers and, well, they're good at their job. When I was reading through the first book, imagining the rainbow collage of flashing colors that Tom was wearing was one of my favorite visuals. And unlike a lot of stuff on the Wheel of Time, that was a visual I could bring to life. So, for Halloween 2020, and yes I know I'm a bit late making this video, leave me alone, I made a Gleeman's cloak for my Halloween costume, with a lot of help from my mom, in about a week. The first step we actually went through was going to a local thrift shop and purchasing a whole bunch of different clothes and different fabrics to turn into the patches on the cloak. So I'll show you that first, and then go right into the time lapse. Yeah, no. We like both these colors. We just get both. It's a thrift shop. It's a touch bright, but I think we'll take it. I think we can definitely add it in for a little bit of like... Perfect. I like that. That's a nice shirt too. Proper silk shirt. I am cutting this up. It's going to be a part of my cloak. That is a whole lot of colorful fabric. I like it. Oh, there we go. That's all the bags. All right. I have a bunch of fabric from the thrift store right here. Basically just gonna start going through this fabric, cutting it up and stitching it all together into one big piece of fabric until I can get it big enough. And once I get it big enough, I'll cut it down again into the actual shape of the cloak. And this right here, this fabric, it's like silky, sorta, it, it's a curtain is what it is, but I'm gonna use it as the lining of the cloak so that on my skin, it's not just like all the different, you know, inside stitches that don't actually feel nice. It's a really nice silky sorta curtain on the inside. I think it's about time for a time lapse. All right, my cloak is done. Uh, let me put it on. <laughs> nice, isn't it? We were careful to choose fabrics that were woven instead of stitched so as to minimize stretching. And the inside is actually this vibrant red curtain that adds a lot to the comfort, strength, and warmth of the cloak. And of course, I have plenty of hidden pockets for all sorts of things, because no Gleeman's cloak would be okay without enough pockets to make a trench coat jealous. And of course, I can juggle just enough to complete the character.
<laughs> this cloak is really warm and really eye-catching, and it also works as a blanket or a pillow in a pinch. I'm really proud of this cloak, and I'm curious how closely or not closely it's going to match the one in the live-action adaptation. And even if it doesn't match very closely, I say the wheel weaves as the wheel wills, and I wove this cloak how I imagined it to look. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and may the light shine upon you.